You're never gonna get what you deserve if you hire a traditional real estate agent. Let me explain. I wanna say one of the most common questions that I receive from my real estate colleagues and potential clients is asking me why my listing marketing package fees are typically higher than everyone else's. And the simple answer I give them is because my clients deserve better. All clients deserve better, not just mine. And in this video, we are gonna discuss why I strongly feel that we need to increase our value for our clients as opposed to just reducing our price as our only effort to increase our value. The business, the clients, and the whole industry as a whole would be better off if we focused on increasing value as opposed to reducing our price. And this isn't just for real estate. This is a real estate channel, I'm mostly talking to realtors, but this is for any business. If you leave real estate or you're not in real estate and you're gonna open up, I don't know, a pen company, this applies to that too. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get into it. When you open up a business, regardless of the business, you need to choose which business model you are going to run with. Those two business models are one, a price-based business model, or two, a value-based business model. A price-based business model is essentially a race to the bottom in prices, meaning that you are conveying your value in terms of your reduction of price. And when you're doing that, you keep on competing on a lower and lower price, hoping that you get hired because you are the cheapest. Now, a value-based business model is the opposite. You're increasing the value of your product to your service. And in turn, you don't have to reduce your prices to accommodate because the value came elsewhere. Something tangible and something that a lot of people crave. Now let's talk price-based business model for a second. If you're in a price-based business model, what's going to happen is you are competing in prices, right? So if you have multiple real estate agents and they're all from the eyes of the consumer, relatively the same, we're a commodity, the cheapest guy or cheapest girl is going to be the biggest value add. There's no benefit being the second cheapest. You have to be the cheapest. And if you're the cheapest at doing something, you have to do a lot more of that thing to keep the lights on. You're barely getting by, you're burnt out. Also, when you're the cheapest, you, since you have to have so much more business to keep the lights on and keep going and barely afloat, you're gonna make decisions that may not be in the best interest of your clients. Why? Because each deal is huge to you. It's a good portion of your income. And you might be making decisions that's getting another deal done. You also can elevate your product and service line for your clients because you don't have the funds to do so. You also can hire people and if you do, they're not the best people because you can't pay them good money. All of this affects the experience for the consumer. It might put them in situations where we're not negotiating in our best interest, where they're not getting the most at their bottom line, which is at the core of why people want to discount in the first place to increase what goes into their pocket. If they hire someone who does a consistent discount model, that is kind of counterintuitive and counteractive what they're trying to do in the first place. But to be fair, a lot of sellers who are doing the price value grab just don't know that there's a difference or that anyone else can offer more. And that's where a huge opportunity comes in for value-based business owners. In this particular case, I'm talking about real estate agents. When you are doing a value-based business model, you are solving all their problems, taking away all of their stresses and giving them an experience that they didn't even imagine they could have when hiring a real estate agent. And in essence, when they are paying more, they are invested more in getting more out of it. And in turn, if you are a real estate agent and you charge more and your bottom line is higher, you now have the funds available to go out and hire good people to help you do those things. You can go out and pay more money on marketing. You can go out and get better educated on negotiating tactics that's going to increase your seller's bottom line. In essence, by charging more and using those funds to elevate the business and increases the experience and the value to the consumer if you use those profits for those things. And here's the thing, if you don't use those profits for those things, then it's just gonna affect your business anyhow and you're not gonna succeed because your reputation is going to fail you. What we have to understand is when buyers of any product or service line, they open up their wallets and they can exchange cash for what they feel is a fair exchange for value. And if the only thing we can convey to them is a reduction of price, we're essentially racing to zero. When instead, we should be racing on how much value we can give what is the increase of their bottom line? What are they experiencing overall? If we wanna dive in deeper on it, there are seven things needed in order to sell a property. There's price, condition, location, marketing, communication, negotiating skills of a real estate agent, and timing. Now, price, condition, and location, that's not something really a real estate agent can control. They can advise on two of those three, but they can't control them. Now, when it comes to negotiation and communication and marketing, that is what we do, right? So if we are hiring people that's gonna help us to communicate effectively, hiring people that's going to take things off our plate so we can be more invested into our listing clients and we are hiring people and spending money to elevate our marketing 
talents and we are spending money on elevating how well we can negotiate by taking courses and trainings and certifications then those are the three main drivers of why sellers are hiring us and all those three 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 things are used to increase their experience and their bottom line at closing this is why i charge more because i want to give more and elevate the experience and if we want to dive in a little bit deeper let's talk about the three things we're hired to do communicate negotiate and market marketing we have a guarantee on the Homes by Kuzi team here in Southeast Florida, by the way, sending referrals or calls if you need us, that no one will outmarket us. What do I mean by that? If we have a house in the market and there's a competing house that's listed down the street, we guarantee that no one is going to outmarket us, including the competitor's listings. And if they do, then we will sell your house for free. If you want more details on that, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you about that. The second thing is communication. We have what's called a feedback frenzy guarantee, meaning we will give you $500 off for every time we mess this up. Mess what up? We we are offering or actually guaranteeing you that we will communicate feedback from your listing twice a week, whether that's email, video, phone call, or text. And we're going to say, this is where it's happening in your listing. This is what our competitors are doing. This is what went under contract. This is what it looks like on the back end, on all the websites. This is all the things that we're doing to move the needle. And we provide that twice a week. Why? Because knowledge is power and the market's always changing. It doesn't make sense to not be aware of what's happening when people are paying us so much money to be aware of what's happening and sell their property. So we offer that guarantee to you. If we'll take off $500 off your closing costs for each time we do not, provide you with feedback and we promise you we do it twice a week that's our guarantee and the other one is negotiating now if you are just reducing your price and you're spinning your wheels and you're trying to figure things out on your business you're getting burnt out and that's your business model well one it just tells that you don't have a good product but two, it tells you you're really not good at negotiating. And you have to understand why. If someone's calling you and they're negotiating commission, the first thing that a real estate agent does is offer you a cheaper nego a cheaper uh, commission. They're not only saying that their product's not that great, they're saying they can't negotiate either. Their very first instance negotiating is negotiating with you on commission and they failed. How well do you think they're gonna negotiate for you and your bottom line if they can't even negotiate what they do well? It's a big problem. So I hope I was able to demonstrate why I strongly feel elevated your value as opposed to lowering your prices is the best way to go. And I understand that this model is not for everyone. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the comments and they're going to say their things, but I'm not trying to attract those people. And chances are they didn't even make it this far in the video anyhow, because it just didn't interest them. That's not who I'm trying to work with. The people who understand the value and what they get at the bottom line and the overall experience are the people who are still watching this. That's who I'm trying to work with. You guys are easier to work with. You understand the process and you understand the difference between discounter and someone who offers value. Now, I want to say one last point. There's a market for everyone. If someone is adamant on doing a discount broker, that is fine. There are some people who want to drive a Chevy Spark and there's some people who like Mercedes. There's nothing wrong with either. It's just a preference. There's some people who go to a Motel 6. Some people go to the Ritz-Carlton. And there's a lot of people in the middle. It's only perspective and perception. But what I'm saying to my real estate colleagues out there, if they're still watching, is that you are going to get burnt out on that price model. You are going to attract people who are not going to see the value in you. They're going to find you easily the only value they do see in you is a reduction of price and they're gonna keep on asking for more money and keep their hand out and keep asking for stuff it's just gonna be harder for you to maintain a business and not get burnt out dealing with consumers who always just want to beat you up over price they don't see you any different from anyone else you're just a commodity I don't know about you but for me that destroys me just thinking that I'm only looked at as a commodity and not something of extreme value. I wanted to build my business and provide levels of service experiences for my clients that they simply can't get anywhere else. That would make me a product of one with no competition. And the people who can't see that or the people who don't recognize that, that's okay. They don't have to hire me. This is for the people who do recognize that and do see that. If you're interested in seeing what our menu options are that I was talking about before and the guarantees that I mentioned before in this video, reach out to me. I have no problem sending you a PDF or texting you a copy of it. I would actually be excited to share that with you, whether you are a, a potential client of mine or you are a real estate agent. Once again, I'm Chris Cusimato with the Homes by Cousy team in Southeast Florida. I hope this video served you value. Please subscribe, like, comment, and do all that sorts of things. I'll see you on the next video.